Hey students, it's Mr. Bowman. Hello. Uh, I want to make a quick video. I'll make some more videos in the future, but I just want to do a quick one to tell you kind of my plan right now. It's not going to be very fancy. It's me talking to the camera. So, a couple things. First of all, I miss all of you very much. I really wish we were having class right now. I wish we had just spent today talking about great things with novels and literature and composition and argument and all these things. We were getting on some really cool stuff, and I don't know where we're going to get a chance to do that again. At least not in our usual way. We might be finding some new ways to do it, though, and that's what we're going to talk about here today. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be going on. No one really knows. In theory, I'm going to find out more tomorrow, but let me tell you what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. In the meantime, I want to communicate with all of you like this. I'm going to send you videos. I'm going to post them up. Sometimes there'll be stuff for school. Sometimes it won't. Now, these videos are for anyone who needs them. They can be my Indio students. Hello, Indio students. They can be my uh, LQ students who are still subscribed. Hello, LQ students. Now, I don't want to hear any Indio versus La Quinta stuff. You're all my students, and I adore each and every one of you. So, it's for all of you. It's also for anyone who wants to watch it. Maybe someone else will find it comforting to watch me blather away. Here's the things I want to start making videos about for all of you. One, I want to talk about creative writing. Creative writing is a really good thing to do in, high, in times of high stress or in any other time. And this is a time of pretty high stress. So you might have some creative writing urges. I think that's a great thing to do with your energy and with your time because some of you have a lot more time than you're used to and you have a lot more stress than you're used to and be good to maybe get some of that stuff out in writing. Now, if I were you, I'd start with short stories and poems. If you want to take on the novel, you have time for one, you might want to take on the novel. If you do, that'd be a really cool thing to do. You can go ahead and do that. Um, if you do finish a novel, I will, of course, give you the custom coffee mug. That's a given that will always be the case. No matter what school you go to, you get the coffee mug if you write a novel, because it's a very impressive thing. Second, I want to do some cooking videos. I think that'd be really neat. Things like, can you make bread with just yeast and flour and not a lot of fancy stuff? Can you just make it on a pan? Turns out you can. I'm going to show you how to do that kind of thing. It'll be a flat bread. You can maybe ask me, like, Bowman, how, what can I make with these few ingredients we have? Because we're not going to get to the grocery stores as much as we might like. So maybe I could help you with recipes. That'd be really fun. Or you ask me, how do I do something? I'll put up a video telling you how to do it. I'll tell you bands if you want music to listen to. Other things I want, as I was going to suggest things for you to read. Now, I have here a stack of books that I think would be fun for you to check out. Not because you have the books, though. These books are authors that I think are great, and they're easily available online to read. Now... When you're looking online, it's hard to find full-length novels online legally. I really would like it if you did things legally, of course. Short stories, however, are often published complete online, as well as essays. Now, the best essayist in the country for my money is this guy, Ta-Nehisi Coates. He is awesome. He was a columnist for the, he was an essayist for The Atlantic for a long time, which is my favorite magazine. He's great. You can find his stuff all over the place. He's a genius. Now, if you like science fiction... Philip K. Dick. Now, this is Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. This is the short story that Blade Runner was based on. He's got tons of short stories. You can definitely find them online. They're really good. Now, also, if you like science fiction, Stanislav Lem. Really cool, smart stuff. Lots of short stories, particularly from this book, The Siberiad, which is, uh, we've read some of this in class. It's about two inventors, who are constructors, he calls them, who are always trying to out-invent one another, and weird things happen as a result. We've read this in class. Joe Mino. Mino is a genius. He's really amazing. Really beautiful, strange stuff that really touches the heart. Amy Bender. She's great. There's her name, a little bit bigger print, because she spells Amy a little bit differently. She's awesome. Her stories are always a little bit strange, and they always have something a little bit fantastical in them, and are worth checking out. You can find them online. Now, Roll Doll. You're going to think, Roll Doll, I don't want to read kids' books. Ooh, his short stories are not for kids. They're Definitely for grown-ups. Like, really for grown-ups. They're great. They're, they always have twist endings. They're really, really cool. You'll like them a lot. They're very strange. Edgar Curran. We've read him in class as well. You can find lots of his stuff online. A.M. Holmes. She's amazing. She's, her stuff's often very emotionally intense and sad. But sometimes that's good. Sometimes you really want to read a sad story because it makes you feel better after a good cry, after a good... Bit of introspection, reading something sad makes you feel a lot better. Ben Laurie, we've read him in class as well. He's one of my favorite authors to teach. He's really excellent. So Ben Laurie, he'd be a good one to check out. Simon Rich. Simon Rich, he's my guy. I'm hoping 
when I'm making the video, I'm seeing the mirror image. Hopefully it's not mirrored for you. Hopefully you can see them right. Well, either way, I'm holding up Simon Rich as the guy. And Wells Tower, everything ravaged, everything burned. This is a collection of short stories. He also does a lot of essays and articles, in-depth, uh, immersive reporting and journalism. It's really good. It's really worth your time. I am eager to talk to all of you. I might set up a Google Classroom so that we have other ways to communicate. And I'll just make one that everyone can comment on. I'm not real sure yet. I got to see how that works. Suffice to say, I'm, your, I'm on your side still. I was on your side before all this. I'll be on your side after all of it. And I'm on your side during all this. So if there's anything I can do to help you, by all means, let me know. I'm just an email away. You can always reach out to me. All right. Talk to you soon.